acids are degraded by transdeamination, a process where a transamination reaction is linked to the oxidative deamination of glutamate. In transamination, an amino group of an amino acid is transferred to an alpha keto acid. This results in the creation of a new alpha keto acid and a new amino acid. Most often, the amino group acceptors are alpha ketoglutarate oxaloacetate M pyruvate. When in transamination, the amino group is accepted by alpha ketoglutarate, it is converted to glutamate and a new keto acid is produced. The enzymes that catalyze transamination are called aminotransferases or transaminases. Their coenzyme is pyridoxal phosphate or PLP. Pyridoxal phosphate is a derivative of pyridoxine or vitamin B6. The coenzyme is covalently attached to the enzyme via a shift base. The link is formed by the condensation of its aldehyde group with the epsilon amino group of an enzyme lysine residue. The shift base, which is conjugated to the pyridinium ring, is the center of the coenzyme activity. When pyridoxal phosphate accepts the amino group from an amino acid, it becomes pyridoxamine phosphate. To complete the catalytic cycle, the coenzyme is converted from pyridoxamine phosphate back via a shift base to pyridoxal phosphate. The transamination itself does not lead to removal of an amino group, but only to its transfer to an alpha keto acid, which is converted into a new amino acid. When transamination of any amino acid with alpha ketoglutarate as an acceptor of the amino group is followed by oxidative deamination of the glutamate formed, this combined process is called transdeamination. The oxidative deamination of glutamate is catalyzed by a highly active glutamate dehydrogenase yielding ammonia and regenerating alpha ketoglutarate for use in a subsequent transamination reaction. Thus, in transdeamination, not only glutamate but other amino acids too are degraded with synthesis of ATP. ATP is formed because the hydrogen released is directed to the respiratory chain. In eukaryotes, this is the major pathway for removal of nitrogen from the amino acids. Glutamate dehydrogenase is a mitochondrial enzyme. The oxidation is carried out by transfer of hydride ion from the alpha carbon atom of glutamate to NAD oxidized yielding an unstable alpha aminoglutarate, which is hydrolyzed to alpha ketoglutarate and ammonia. Alpha ketoglutarate is used in a subsequent transamination reaction. The next experiment demonstrates how to prove the occurrence of transamination. A solution containing the substrates alanine and alpha ketoglutarate is incubated with rat liver homogenate, containing the enzyme alanine aminotransferase. The formation of the new amino acid glutamate is proven by partition paper chromatography. When using this method, the samples are spotted onto points along Along the starting line on a sheet of chromatographic paper. The substrate solution containing alanine and alpha ketoglutarate is spotted onto the first point. A drop of the incubation mixture is applied to the second point. In this incubation mixture, the liver alanine aminotransferase has catalyzed transamination between alanine and alpha ketoglutarate, yielding glutamate and pyruvate. The third sample contains the initial non-incubated liver homogenate. A solution of glutamate used as a witness is spotted on to the fourth starting point. The witness is used to compare and identify glutamate formed in the incubation mixture by the alanine aminotransferase. The lower edge of the paper is immersed in N-butanol. This non-polar solvent is the mobile phase, which begins to move upwards on the paper, passing through the samples and dragging them up. The amino acids separate on the basis of their different solubility into two immiscible solvents, in this case N-butanol and the immobile phase, the water absorbed on the paper from the air. The water from the air is bound to the cellulose of the paper through hydrogen bonds. Hydrophobic amino acids such as alanine, dissolve better in the organic butanol and move upwards with it. Hydrophilic amino acids, such as glutamate in this case, lag behind. After some time, the mixture splits into separate amino acids, and after drying the paper, 
The samples are sprayed with ninhydrin and heated to visualize and identify the amino acids. Transamination is reversible. In this case, it is seen as a result of the transamination that the amino acid glutamate has been formed in equilibrium with alanine.